This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at how you can help build an open source chat GPT. So, Layon, which stands for Large Scale Artificial Intelligence Open Network. It's a 100% non-profit, 100% free organization, which provides data set, tools and models to liberate machine learning research. Okay. By doing so, they encourage open public education and more environment friendly use of resources by reusing existing data set and models. So they have uh, this thing over here, help building an open source chat GPT. Let's click on that. Okay. So here our open source chat GPT is now officially known as open assistant and they have a a roadmap for the open assistant okay so um, they have a repository which will serve as central hub for resources basically and uh, they have the initial scope and other details so the following use cases initial scope is general knowledge question answering doing high school math revisiting essays helping to write creative fiction performing all tasks currently available to the flan t5 xxl model we might also add generate simple python programs based on these use cases we'll identify the requirements for our data then they talk about the benefits of the project the benefits include equal access to knowledge and technology in the form of a useful tool centralized access to a wealth of diverse and high quality rlhf data rlhf stands for reinforcement learning with human feedback the promise of free research access and long-term maintenance by a dedicated community and open source open science character of developing crucial technology okay so who are the people who should be involved over here the open source and open source community including leon will should play a central role libraries public institutions people from different communities basically anybody can get involved over here right so let's look at uh, the objectives yeah to achieve this we develop a repository of high quality reinforcement learning and human computer interaction data obviously data collection is important we will provide a platform researchers to contribute their own RLHF uh, data to the repository they will maintain the repository what will they do they will provide an initial data set and model for education and multi-domain productivity with a chat interface the initial model will be helpful and some measure of simulated empathy but it will not be designed to fool people into thinking that it has feelings or to engage yeah that is important they will iteratively improve the data set what they won't do is we will not be building a general chatbot our output will not state that our ai systems have feelings or opinions okay we will not knowingly scrape data from open ai's chat gpt or any other ai systems without the explicit permission of the creators okay but it is not designed to fool people okay so the data governance uh, will set up a steering committee okay model governance again okay degree transparency will establish a model okay our initial model is not intended to be as advanced as chat gpt it will also be 10 times smaller than chat gpt it is called as open assistant okay right so now you have uh, this document and then you have their github page okay so where they explain again about the same thing about open what is open assistant right it is again project meant to give everyone access to a great chat based large language model so the interesting thing is that their data collection front end is now live okay so i uh, so I clicked on this particular link and then I signed up for that uh, open assistant. Okay. A sign in was sent and then uh, I got this particular page which talks about the terms of service for open assistant. Okay. I agree on that. Let us look at what kind of tasks are present over here. Okay. So there are these many tasks available over here. Right. So this is about classify assistant reply, classify prompter reply, create initial prompts, classify initial prompt, 
reply as assistant rank assistant replies reply as user okay so probably let me select uh, this particular classify assistant reply task okay so uh, here it says how do i create a new language i assume a new language is new programming language tell me about the main use case where the language is to be used are there constraints okay this is from the assistant no i wanted to create a new spoken or written language what steps should i create to a such a thing determine the purpose and goals of the language consider this is the response right here are some steps you want to create a new language determine the purpose and goals of the language consider you want why you want to create what you want to achieve and who your target audience is study existing languages research the structure and features of the languages to get an idea grammar syntax develop uh, this thing uh, if you want to gain more detailed understanding constructed languages or const, const langs there are many examples like this nice is this so answer the following questions about the highlighted response is this message spam no is it a bad reply as an answer to the prompt task no select uh, that apply to the highlighted this thing hate speech no none of this how would i rate this highlighted message uh, i would rate it as high quality it is helpful it is creative or ordinary mm. I find it to be neutral. Okay, it is neither humorous nor serious. Again, neutral. It is polite. It is harmless. Okay, and I can submit your answer. I can submit this particular answer, right? I can review it. Okay, and I can submit. Right. So I have actually submitted a reply for this particular this thing. Okay, now I get the next task. Okay, given the following discussion, provide labels for the final output. So actually, I can now give my input for this particular tasks. Okay, so this was about classifying assistant reply. I think this was the one which I was trying out. Okay, now let me check some other uh, this thing. Help open a improve its response token. Okay, for this I have to reply as an assistant. Okay, maybe let's look at one of the tasks over here. Okay, what are the four noble truths in Buddhism? Okay, for this I have to actually Google on what are the four no uh, noble truths in Buddhism. I have to understand it and then I have to give a reply. Okay, but uh, this is for collecting replies for your prompts. Okay. Then you have tasks for classify prompter reply. Let's see what it is. Okay. What are synonyms for the word reject? You get denied. Okay. And then what can I do over here? Oh, I can also put reactions over here and label them. Interesting. And denied is the answer over here. And here people are saying it as negative. Synonyms for the word reject. I think denied should be fine. I'm not sure why it doesn't come up. Okay. Synonyms for reject. This is rejects, deny. Hmm. So it should be fine actually. I don't know why it's labeled as this thing. I would say that it's positive at least for me. Okay. Could you elaborate more? Provide some context and more synonyms. Okay. What is the label over here? Let's see what is the label. Is the message spam? No, no, no. Okay. Same thing. So here I can say is the message spam? No. None of this. It is high quality. It is neutral. Mm hmm is polite is harmless i can review it and i can submit it okay and i get the next task right so you can actually contribute over here to the various tasks for data collection for development of this open ai assist sorry not open ai 
I'm sorry, open assistant from Leon. Okay, so you can um, contribute over here and based on the prompts and replies, you have a score also over here. This is nice, right? So this is nice way of crowdfunded open assistant development. I really like uh, the approach over here, right? So they also have a roadmap uh, and there are some interesting people who contribute to this particular um, this thing. So we have Yannick Kilcher over here. Um, you Anybody works in the data science space knows about Yannick Kilcher and his contributions in YouTube and uh, research, right? Uh, the rest of the people I am not that aware of, but then, yeah, I might also look up on these people at some point of time. But there are already some 98 or 109 contributors to this effort. So you can also contribute technically as well as in data collection over here, right? We would love to have a open assistant, uh, you know, open source software. So they have their roadmap slides over here vision and roadmap so you can look at these slides to understand more about their vision right what is uh, uh, what uh, what is this conversational assistant about right and uh, what is their vision uh, what is their roadmap right and then uh, you know how are they going to get to the minimum viable product uh, so currently they just follow uh, they are saying that we follow instruct gpt so collect demonstration data and train a supervised policy, collect comparison data and train a reward model, and then optimize a policy against the reward model using reinforcement learning. So this is that reinforcement learning with human feedback. Okay. Uh, this is the kind of architecture which chat GPT also uses. Then they have given details on the technical details of this particular architecture over here. Okay. The, they say data collection is the bulk of the work and uh, data collection code, instruction data set gathering, gamification, yeah, date, making data collection fun, which is this particular uh, dashboard, which I saw, which I have uh, shown you over here, right? And what are the principles? We put the human in the center, pragmatic, we pull in one direction. It's a very nice effort. You can look through these documents. They also have uh, the data structures which they have used, they have the packages and other things over here, the work packages. I will share all these details. You can, uh, in the description of the video, I will share the link. Uh, do check out, do sign up for this dashboard, um, basically this data collection and uh, help in creating a, um, in help in data collection, creating good quality data and also help them in creating a open source, open assistant for the welfare of everyone. I hope you like this short video on Open Assistant. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you in another video.